Allison here and in today's FileMaker tutorial we are going to go ahead and take a look at the chart feature. So let's get started. I am here looking at a list of orders uh, and they are sorted by month and year. We have December 2017, January 2018, etc. And we have this nice chart at the top uh, displaying how we did uh, in sales volumes for each of the months. And I just wanted to go behind the scenes and show you how I set this chart up. So we will go into edit layout and I use the charting tool, which is right here, the little uh, bars here, chart tool and I drew the object and I set it up, but I wanted to go ahead and walk you through uh, the setup. So there's sort of three sections um, to the chart setup. There's the chart here and then there's styles which is how it looks and then there's the data source. So I am currently in the orders table so I want to chart the data on the current found set and I want to uh, the the chart to display when the layout is sorted, uh, summarized groups of records, because I want it to uh, display total sales volumes. So that's how I set up the uh, data source. And then uh, the styles, kind of working from the bottom up here, uh, the styles, you have different um, styles like shaded, flat, etc. You can have fun playing around with those. They give you color scheme options. Um, you can uh, work with the fill, grid lines, uh, legend patterns, chart text, and font uh, style and size. Uh, but I'm going to focus uh, for the most part on these chart, this chart section because that can be the most confusing bit. So I've given the uh, chart a title, total sales. I've chose, chosen a basic uh, column chart. And for the x-axis, this is where I'm going to choose my data. And so I chose uh, to specify a field. And in the order table, which I'm in currently, um, I wanted the x-axis, which is this, this bit at the bottom here, uh, to be the month year. And so that's the bit that I selected. So it'll show. Um, by month and year, what the total sales are. And then for the y-axis, I wanted it to show uh, the summary field. Remember when I chose uh, grouped by a summary field? So I chose the summary field of sum total, um, there it is, uh, in the order table. And then uh, the access options, it can look really cluttered and um, kind of alarming if you don't uh, take care of this bit here. So uh, on the x-axis, um, I selected that it was a, a date type, which is true. And the format is, uh, I just chose something simple uh, that wasn't too long that would show up and looked a little prettier than um, just the basic new, you know, numbers. I kind of wish that I had the option to do custom so that I could show just the month and year uh, like I did uh, in the month year reporting uh, video that I, I shared with you earlier. I'll put a link to that uh, in the card with an info card and in the description. Uh, but I don't have that option and I'm okay with it because I'm just trying to get the information and uh, it suits me. So that's what I've done sort of on the x-axis. And I chose to show uh, data points on the chart so I could see that. If you look here, if I click away, it's there's nothing on the top of the bar, but I want to go ahead and see what the volume is. So I checked that option. And then in the y-axis, um, you have a couple of uh, options of linear or logarithmic. And um, I just stuck with a very basic one of linear because that's what is expected, but I had some options here. Um, if I take away show major tick marks, I've got a lot of uh, data that I really don't need. So I chose show major tick marks and I chose 200,000 so that it would break out um, and give me some space there. And then I set the maximum at 800,000 so it wouldn't get um, too large. 
and sometimes you don't even need that but I, I, I set that and you can um, set minimums and you can also have minor ticks if that uh, suits the purpose of your chart um, and then I uh, on the y-axis I designated that I have a number and that its format is currency and when you choose currency uh, you also have to choose uh, this notation it defaults to say none as you can see the numbers here they don't have the uh, currency symbol even though I've selected the currency uh, format uh, there's no symbols there so you have to change it from none to a symbol and uh, the dollar sign is there so now it shows up and that's it that's everything I did to set this chart up and so I am going to choose done here and so now what this means is that when I have um, all the records shown and I only have data from uh, December through March um, and I sort it so I'm gonna unsort it just so you can see what happens the chart goes away and it goes away because um, I it looks really terrible if it doesn't so I did a little trick uh, in the with the hiding I uh, chose in the hidden part to get sort state in other words uh, if it's not sorted um, don't show it uh, because it just looks terrible um, I think I can sort it by some something else and show you how terrible it looks uh, so if I sort it even by date see not pretty so you can continue to uh, tidy that up if you want but if you sort um, by the month and year which is what we wanted it to sort by then there you go you have your chart so that is a brief overview of the chart tool. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.